These are double IPAs. I just don't see how I could possibly like this. Shit. This is one of those where they pair up with somebody to make horse piss. Mm -mm. I still taste that sucker. Don't f me over. This one, I mean, I think I do like this. Beer. It's weird. It's getting weird. It's getting Weird. Hey everybody, it's Alabama Boss with an episode of Craft Brew Review. You know how much I love the IPAs. I did the hazy IPA. They saw it. Damn. Thought, why not try the double IPA? So let's get started. I'm just kind of like, here we go. Shit, 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 shit. Done. Now these are double IPAs. The double, from what I understand, is double hops, double malt, and the goal there is more bitterness. So f yeah, man, double the bitterness. I, I just don't see how I could possibly like this shit. I'm sorry. But I've been wrong, like, I don't know, percentage-wise, like 75% of my life. I'm just here to drink beer. Let's get started on these double IPAs. Highgate, first thing I see here is experimental series. All right. 7.8% alcohol volume. Oh, brewed and packaged by Living Waters Brewing in Nashville, Tennessee. Let's get it out. If I was at a bar and I ordered this by accident, I don't know how that would happen, but let's just say it happened. I would open it and go, oops, I didn't mean to get that. Glass was clean, but there's some chunks of black shit in this thing. Not really chunks, it's maybe pepper. Definitely got a fruity, tooty smell. All right. Highgate, double IPA, it's out of Nashville, down the hatch. Uh, I was wrong, son of a bitch. This is not the worst thing ever. I'm a little stumped on this because I was expecting it to just really suck, and it don't. I mean, I could no problem drink some more of this. Weird, really weird, I don't know what's wrong. I like it. I don't know, I believe they forgot to double the hops. Some of these are just too, they're just too much. Like I've run across something just way too bitter, way too, just ugh. faux real, I'm surprised. We've got off to a good start here, which is unexpected. So next up, Strata Hop. Why do I want to go when I read Strata? You can learn more at hopbutcher.com. They're not a sponsor, so you don't want to go. No, actually nobody's a sponsor. So somebody step up, I need to buy some new shirts. Okay, not as, not as strong of a aroma. It's still there. Same look, I'm, I'm kind of, ex I'm expecting this from all of these. How are these different from the hazies? Somebody let me know. Mm. Okay, there it is. That, the, they got the bitterness. Look, for a double IPA, if you're looking for more bitterness, there you go. Do I like it? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. Real bitter. It sucked. I was just moving on, because I still taste that sucker. Tough. Uh-uh. Uh. I gotta get that out of my fucking mouth. Oh, sh**. Okay, I'm going from Hot Butcher to Clown Shoes Beer. Space Cake Double IPA. 9%, whoa. This is one of those where they pair up with somebody to make horse pieces. Oh man, I like the artwork though. You got like a dog in a spacesuit, And not like a <laughs> dog, I'm talking about a half pit, half boxer, cool dog. At 9%, I'm gonna be looking at some bitter wine. That's what I expect. It's not as strong. Color, or amber. Still cloudy. It's clear enough, let's go. Alright, maybe it'd be good. Maybe it'd be good. Mm -mm. <sighs> Shit, fire. Oh, God, here we go again. In my mouth, it was really bitter. And then, when I swallowed, it was fine. <sighs> this stuff gets holding it in my mouth. So this right here, I believe, is perfect. Not for me. <laughs> but I believe it's perfect for the craft brew enthusiast looking for the bitter, the hop, 9% <laughs> alcohol. Yeah, yeah, it's better than hop butcher. All right, we got a, another hop butcher here. This one is beef dipped, 7.5% alcohol. It's gonna come out of Chicago, Illinois. 
I am told this beef dipped is based off of some beef dip sandwich in Chicago that I don't get out much. Either way, it's not a Philly, something you dip. This beer, Dank Greens. What could those be? Simcoe hops? What the f Sim Simcoe? It's a type of hop. Oh God, let's just try the beer. I think that's best. There we go. These two, the aroma, not there. This one, it's back. Oh, Hazy, cloudy, whatever you call it. All right, treat me right, beef dipped. I am told because I don't know shit about f This Simcoe hopped gets the bitter, but it's smooth. I'm gonna move it ahead of the other hop butcher. Right up here, Spice Cake, Hot Butcher. Neck and neck, we sucked the most so far, and right now I like that the best. But I see the next one is Cloudy Thoughts. Hazy double IPA. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Fuck, I hated those hazy IPAs. Oh, mm. Damn. 8.1% alcohol. Where's it out of? Oh, shit, California. Wow. Well, look at that shit. I don't know what's gonna make this a hazy. I know somebody will tell me, but this is not hazier than, honestly, most IPAs. They're just a dirty beer. Four Sons Brewery. Don't fuck me over. I don't know what's happening to me. I really don't. I should absolutely hate that beer. There's no way I should be able to tolerate that beer. Oh, sh it's not bad. They're not as bad as I was expecting. This jumps right on up here. This is a hazy double IPA, and I can get down with it. This one, I, I'm, I'm very, very close to saying I like that beer. I mean, I think I do like this beer. Am I gonna buy it at a restaurant, at a bar that only has that? I don't know. It's weird, it's getting weird, it's getting weird. This shit is starting to kind of growing on me and it's not good, it don't need to grow on me. I shouldn't like any of these sons of bitches at all. I thought I'd hate that thing. No, I do hate that, I don't like it. There's one left, Edmunds Oast Brewing? What the f is a Oast? Damn, 9.5%. It's got kind of a weird ass creature on the front. Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know if there's a story here. No, nope, don't see one, but I see a beer that is not open and not being drank, so let's try it. Very small amount of aroma. Clear. You are disguised as a double IPA because that is too damn clear. Now, it's dirty, like all these other dirty birds here but it's not IPA dirty. It's definitely not double dirty. It's Satan in disguise. I don't understand. That's it. That wins. That wins. I like that beer. I like it a lot. Yeah. Damn. Right up here. I'm gonna move you up. This is pretty simple for me. Those two right there are my favorite double IPAs. I think I need to have like a little showdown. Okay, so with Highgate. New England style pale ale versus Edmunds Oast. Looks alone, Edmunds wins. Close second, Edmonds. But I'm going with uh, I'm going with Highgate. Highgate, then Edmonds on the double IPAs. Tied. Loser. It was surprisingly not as sh as I was expecting. I'll be honest. I thought they were all gonna suck because I do not like IPAs. I feel proud of myself. I don't care if the video's good or not. 
I actually found two IPAs that I like. I like them. Yeah. The evolution, the interesting. Well, there you have it. It's Craft Brew Review Double IPAs. I'm Alabama Boss. Y'all have a good one.